Hi, welcome to Guild Gatherings, sponsored by the Women's Guild of St. John Armenian Church in Southfield, Michigan. My name is Sue, and this is my friend Hedgie, the Hedgehog. Hi. We're here to help you plan a creative play space in your own house. And what's that going to be today, Hedgie? We are planning a at an at home office, just like the grown ups have. So we were thinking about all kinds of things we could do, and we thought that would be a good one. You know, Hedgie and I are old pals from from our teaching days. Isn't that right? We had fun, so much fun, and we miss the kids. Miss me, Miss Sue. I miss the kids. Are, are, are kids watching? They are watching. I, I'm hoping they'll be watching. Well, I miss you so much. I, I hope I'll get to see you again. We hope you do. We, we really miss kids. So we're here to help um, with you and the grown-ups, or even a babysitter who babysits. Uh, children, this could be of help to you also. So what are we going to do um, to get ready? You said you had some materials. I do, Miss Sue. I have all kinds of things for an office. Well, would you mind getting them set up while I talk to the grown-ups for a while? Sure, Miss Sue. I'll be glad to. Okay, we'll see you later. So this is a great time to uh, encourage reading and writing in your child. And we have four important ways that you can encourage reading and writing in young children. One thing is to let children see you reading and writing when they actually see you doing that task. Have plenty of reading and writing materials in your home which I'm sure many of you already do, and have age-appropriate books for your children in the home, uh, always ready for them. And probably most importantly is to read daily to your children. Young children need a shorter time for you to read to them, bedtime or whenever, and uh, as they get older, you can read longer, longer books or longer parts of chapter books. And, you know, children as old as almost all the way into middle school still really enjoy hearing the grown-ups read to them. So at this end of the table, I have my bills and um, my reading material that I that I would probably just gather up at my end of the table and be ready uh, to be, be have something on my end that I really need to do or want to do as your child is working at the other end of the table. And then you would be there for them to to assist them. Uh, they can come up to you, and the idea is they when they they want to emulate you, and when they see you ready, right sitting right there, they they uh, know they can uh, count on you to answer questions. So let's see if Hedgie is ready. I'll go down to the other end of the table. How are you doing, Hedgie? Are you are you ready? There you are, Hedgie. You are. You have an office chair. Can I sit here? Sure, Miss Sue. You. You look at this. I do. I have a mug just like you, Miss Sue, with my own pencils and. That's. I had no idea you were watching me with all my things. And you have. I have my own scissors. So you be careful with these. Oh yeah, I am Miss Sue. And what do you have here? Oh, I love my crayons. I have lots of crayons. That's that's great. And I see you have markers here. Oh yeah, you you're careful not to color on the on the table. Yeah, no. And a pen. I have a, like a grown-up pen. That is great. What a, this looks like mail. This looks like my mail. 
Miss you, I took them out of the wastebasket. Is that okay? <laughs> it is okay. What a great idea. And you have paper here, I see. So, we had talked about um, a service, you and I, and you had some ideas. Let's see if the, the camera can see our ideas. We came up with a, what your office was going to be about, and we had set the table or clear the table. I can do that already. Yeah, and dry dishes or put them in the dishwasher. You're good at that. I am. And fix your bed. I, I, yeah, you don't like that so much, do you? Yeah, every day. Yeah. <laughs> and put away your toys. You're getting better at that. Yeah, I know, Miss Sue. And feed the pet every day. I love my animals. Yeah. And, oh, I like this one. Call grandma or grandpa every week. I love my grandma and grandpa. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah, they're nice. And what else do you have? I sweep the floor. And, oh, I can help you cook, Miss Sue. I know how to make chud egg with you and Monty. I can make super egg with you and cookies. Oh, cookies, I love. <laughs> you are a good cook. So out of this whole list, you decided on one service. Of course, you could come up with more at their house, at their own house. They could do their own ideas. Um, I'm gonna feed the pet. I like pet, my pet. Okay, good. So we have to, um, we have to advertise now. So, what kind of pet would you like me to help you? Will you help me, Miss Sue? I, I will. So, uh, I want to feed the cat. All right. Let's see. The cat needs a big body. Oh, yeah, Miss Sue. And he needs four, four legs. One, two. And two more, Miss Sue. One, two. Very good. And around the paw and up and around the paw and up. Let's see if they can see that. Around the paw and up. Around the paw and up. Very good. And you need a head. Yeah, all the animals need a head. And you need a neck. That's where our, this is where our kerchiefs are, around our neck. Oh yeah, Miss Sue. And we need little pointy ears like you. Oh, that's like me. And two eyes like me. That's right. And a nose like me. <laughs> and a little mouth. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And whiskers. Oh, whiskers. I don't I Do you have whiskers? No, me Sue. Okay. Oh. Uh, Looks like something might be missing. Oh, a tail. A nice long tail on that cat. And what about the claws, Miss Sue? I think that was a great idea, Hedgie. They're like little sticks. Yeah. Oh. Now you want, let's do one of the kids. All right. So the kids have to have a body. And they have to have a belt, and a belt, and they have to have a head, oh yeah, and a neck, you know, where our kerchief is, around our neck. That's right, and they have to have how many legs? One, two, stop! That's right, two legs on people, and around the toes, and up, and around the toes, and up. And you put the shoes on and the Velcro strap. And let's see. The arms come out of your shoulders. Let's take way up here. You bring those arms way down and way down. And the other side of the arm and the other side of the arm. And what about the hands? Yep, we got round hands. And you count the fingers, Hedgy. One, two, three, four, five fingers. One, two, three, four, five fingers. And two eyes. 
and the nose starts right between your eyes. You go down and a nice big smile and your ears are, the kid's ears are on the sides of their heads like that. And I'm gonna put curly hair. Oh, Miss Sue, it looks like you. It does look like me, doesn't it? Well, now what shall we do? Oh, the food. We were going to feed the food to the cat. So we need a dish. And we need a big smile under that dish. That makes it look like a bowl of food. Oh, that's good, Miss Sue. And the little round food. Oh, yeah. All right, I think we're ready. Uh, I want to write, Miss Sue. Okay, here you go. I want to write what I'm going to write cat. Okay, let's hear you. K. Okay. Cat. T. -t, 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 -t. Cat. Good. And this we can call the kids me because we don't know everybody's name out there. So M M M M M M M and E me E very good. Anything else? How about the dish? D D D. That's right. Dish. Very good. Now this is really good writing. And it's appropriate for young children. This is called invented spelling, and it helps with them uh, with their letter sounds. And you really did a good job of it. And if they want to know the real dictionary way, would you like to know that? I do. I want to learn. You, you well, cat is spelled with a C, and a, a sound is an A, a like apple. And look at that. You get the T. Sometimes K makes a K, so C makes a K sound like K. So you were very close. And me, you got just exactly right. I'm going to give you a star. Oh, good. M and E. You got another star. It's exactly the way you write me. And dish, that's perfect for dish. We'll give you a little point for that. Excellent. Now this is what we'd call the advertisement for for your service. Can you say that big word? Ad advertisement. And they, we're gonna send this and we'll fold this up. We fold it up. You help me crease it. We fold it up and we'll put it in one of these recycled envelopes that you got out of my wastebasket, Miss Sue. It's good to recycle, isn't it? Even our paper is recycled. We have, we don't like to waste anything. You want to help me lick it? Okay. We need a stamp, Miss Sue. Oh yeah, we forgot to show them. Here, these are your stickers. I, I was gonna, Miss Sue, I, they're not stickers for me. They're, they're stamps. Okay, we'll put them right where the stamp goes. And who's going to get that that in our house? Uh, you, Miss Sue. And who else is in our house? Who's in our family? Miss Sue, Mr. Rick, and um, Uncle Derhar. Oh, he, he's in our family. And and Aunt Yeretsky. Yes, yeah, she's in our family, too. And they'll all want to know if you... Feed the cat every day. I will, Miss Sue. And if you do, we did this. We made a sign that has all of your pay ideas. And the pay ideas we came up with was an extra bedtime story. Oh, I love bedtime story. Or ice cream float or Sunday. Oh, I love Sundays. I love ice cream. Or lunch of your choice. Oh, could I have pizza? You could. Or a movie and a popcorn night with a grown-up. I love popcorn and movies. So which one do you want? Oh, I want all of them. No, no. No, you have to pick one of them. Oh, 
Um, ice cream, ice cream. Oh, okay. But if you want to wait and feed the cat for two weeks every day, you could maybe get a trip to the dollar store. Whoa! Or the toy store. Oh! Or even go to the ice cream store. Or go to miniature golf. Oh, miniature golf! Or even on a nice day, we could go to the beach. Oh, now these are just suggestions for your family, but you could come up with your own, yeah, like a hula hoop party, or a horseshoe party, or a dance party. Oh, those would be great. Those would be great. So, now maybe we could go to uh, my side of the table and finish, um, because I have something to show you down there that I think you're going to like. Okay. See you in a minute. You know, we went uh, and asked our library lady at our library, the Royal Oak Library. Do the kids have a library, the Royal Oak Library? They have a library. It might not be Royal Oak. And our library lady, our, called the librarian, she made a list of books about offices, just like we had an office. And if you want to read a book just about offices, they have a whole list of them. And we have a list here for you that you could look at. And then, like I said, we have books uh, at our own home that are about what we talked about today and what we played. So we, had, we did an office for the services. This book is about a whole town uh, and all their services. Oh, that looks good, Miss Sue. Or we have this one about jobs you do at your house, like we talked about. But oh, there's a broom that they could sweep and they baked a pie. I want this one, Miss Sue. Will you read this one? I will read that to you. So I want to thank everybody. Should we thank them? Yes, thank you for coming. We like the kids, especially the kids. We liked everybody coming, and we hope we gave you some good ideas. So thank you from the Guild Gathering of St. John's Armenian Church Women's Guild of Southfield, Michigan. And we'll say goodbye now. Goodbye.